Thank you, Refrigerator Eric. All right, everyone, nice to see you today. We are going to do a lot of kickboxing kind of things today. We're going to do a lot of uh, punching and kicking. I want to pretend there's invisible ninjas all around you. Before we do that, though, let's muck the wind. So, from here, and shut up. Chere. Kani. Ki. Mako. Jumbi. Mako. Shishai. Mako. Baro. And shot. Chere. Kani. Ki. All right, guys, so we're going to do a little bit of a warm up. It's going to be footwork based today. So we're going to start off by doing crisscrossing feet. So if you watch, you're going to cross your legs, open them, then open the other, or cross them the other way, and then open. So one leg, you're switching which leg is in front, but you're trying to do it forward. When you do it, if you want to move forwards, you're more than welcome to. You want to move backwards, go for it. You want to go side to side, why not? It's Wednesday, go crazy. Try and make it quick. Crisscross, crisscross. Good. Get those legs moving. You have about 10 seconds coming up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go. We're going to go into a plank position to warm up our shoulders. From here, in plank, you're going to hold it. But then you're going to go onto your elbows. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. So you're always going to be switching right now between elbow, elbow, hand, head. Try not to twist your shoulders too much. So let's do it. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Keep it going. Good job, guys. We're going to do this. 15 more seconds. Five, three, two, and one. Woo, awesome. All right, so now we're gonna do a little bit of a three-step footwork. So I wanna pretend there's a line that's going right across the mat. You're gonna have your feet on one side of the line, both feet. From here, you're going to step with your right leg across the line. Left foot comes across the line. Then you take an extra step with your right foot. Then you're going to do the same thing with your left. Left, right, left. Right, left, right. Left, right, left. Once you get used to this, make it less marchy and more foot like take quicker, tinier steps. So eventually, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Move those arms too to get those shoulders going. If that's easy, go a little bit faster. Once you feel comfortable and get a good pace, that's when you can really go fast. Three steps every time. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Keep going. Good. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right. So from here, we're going to go back into a push-up position. As we go push-up, we're going to touch our chest with our hand, one hand. Push-up, other hand touches the chest. So from here, I'll go towards the cameras. You can see. You go down, come up, touch. Come down, up, touch. Just keep doing that right now. We're doing it 30 seconds. Good job. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Woo! Fantastic. 
All right, so now our last piece of forward today is a replacement step. So what I wanna do is you're in your stance, okay? Doesn't matter which leg, you're gonna switch every time. So my right leg's in front. I'm gonna take my left leg, replace it with my right, or replace my right leg with my back leg. So it's step and then forward. My new back leg steps in front. Then I'll replace again. One, two, step. One, two, step. You can do this forwards and backwards too. So if you watch, one, two, step back. One, two, step back. Good, and then move forward if you're running out of room. Good job. Start moving back. Good. Keep going. Move forward. If you get used to it, that's when you start going faster. So it's all right. When you go forward, good. Good job, awesome job, guys. All right, from here, last core workout. We're gonna go on to our backs. As we do, boom. We're gonna do something called a flutter kick today. So, your leg down your back, your head and shoulders are off the ground. Your legs are off the ground, and you're just gonna kick up and down with your legs. Do not let your feet touch the ground. Good job. If you need to, you can go up a little bit higher, and you can put your hands on the ground if you'd like, but this way, you're gonna get more core. Strong core is a strong martial artist, just so you know. Good. Do your feet in and out now, crisscross it. Good job, guys. Awesome. And stop. From here, tactical get up. All right. So, what's going to happen is, guys, we're going to do a shadow boxing or shadow sparring kind of drill for you today, okay? So, every direction you step to today, you're going to have to do a different combination. All right, we're going to do one combination at a time. Then, at the very end, we're going to put the whole thing together and go from there. And ideally, you want to change your directions and everything as we go, okay? So we're gonna start right back. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna to step to the left. So when I step to the left, my left foot moves first, then my right foot moves after. So it's one, two, all right? I don't wanna go right leg moves first and then my left because at this point when I cross, if someone kicks me, I lose my balance, all right? So from here, if I move to the left, left foot moves first, then right, okay? Now, when I do this, boom, boom, my weight's gonna be on my left leg. From here, I'm gonna fire a hook, boom, across, and then an uppercut, boom, okay? So it's gonna go left hook, right cross, left uppercut, all right? So we're just gonna do that over and over again. Always move to the left. Feel free as well, when we're doing it, change direction, and then pop, 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 every time, okay? So we're gonna do it for a whole minute, okay? So let's have some fun, guys and get going. All right, so hands are up, and let's do it. So, step, hook, cross, uppercut. Keep going. Step, hook, cross, drop, uppercut. Keep going, I'm gonna move back so you guys can see from here. Step, hook, cross, upper. Step, hook, cross, drop, upper. Step, hook, cross, drop, upper. Keep going. Step. Hook, cross, drop, upper. Keep going. If you want to change directions, you're more than welcome to. Hook, cross, drop, upper. Hook, cross, drop, upper. Don't forget that ball and shake. Turn your feet every time. Hook, cross, drop, upper. Hook, cross, drop, upper. Good job. Hook, cross, drop, upper. Keep it up. Hook, cross, drop, upper. Good. Hook, cross, drop, upper. Hook, cross, drop, upper. Good job, last one. Hook, cross, drop, upper. 
Excellent. So now, that's what happens if you step to the left. If you step to the right, you're going to have to do a different thing. So just as a quick reminder, when we did this, my left foot steps first and I go to the left. Same kind of concept. When I step to the right, my right foot steps first and my left. So it's one, two. Okay. When I do this now, my weight's on my back leg. So I'm going to fire a cross from there. I'm going to fire a body shot. A body shot, my elbow goes nice and long. I punch low. So it boom. If you want, you can go low and make it a body hook where you're going, you're bending your knees and you're throwing a lower hook than you're used to. Okay. After that hook, you're going to fire an uppercut with your back leg side. Boom, uppercut. So we step to the right, cross. After that, body shot from there, uppercut. Okay. One more time, cross, shovel punch or body shot, uppercut. All right, so let's try it out. We're going to do it together for a minute, and then it's going to get crazy when we put it together, okay? So get ready. From to the right. Step, cross, body, upper. Step, cross, body, upper. One more. Step, cross, body, drop, upper. Keep going, keep going. Remember, change direction. Step, cross, body, drop, upper. Step, cross. Body drop, upper. Don't forget to turn your feet too, guys. Make sure that happens. Step, cross, body, back, or then drop, upper. I got my, my cues mixed up there. Step, cross, body, drop, upper. One more time. Step, cross, body, drop, upper. Change direction. Step, cross, body, drop, upper. Keep going. Step, cross, body, drop, Upper, keep going. Step, cross, body drop, upper. Last one. Step, cross, body drop, upper. Good. Fantastic, guys. So now we're going to combine both of them. Okay? So we're going to step to the left. We're going to do our hook, our cross, and then our uppercut. Then we're going to step to the right. We're going to do our cross, our body, and their upper. So hands are up. Get ready. Step to the left. Step, hook, cross. Upper, step to the right, cross, body, upper. Good, I'm gonna make it random too, okay? So stay on guard, all right? You ready? To the right, cross, body, upper. To the left, hook, cross, upper. To the left, hook, cross, upper. To the right, cross, body, drop, upper. To the left, hook, cross, upper. To the left. Hook, cross, upper, to the right. Cross, body, drop, upper, to the right. Cross, body, drop, upper, keep going. Cross, body, drop, upper, to the left. Hook, cross, upper, to the right. Cross, body, drop, upper, to the left. Hook, cross, upper, good, all right. So now, we now know what to do going to the left and to the right. What happens if you move forward? So in our position here, we are going to go, this one's a little bit complicated. If you move forward, it means you're being aggressive. You're engaging, you're trying to come in and hit somebody, all right? So if your hands are up, you're gonna move in. As you move in, jab. So when I step, my lead leg is gonna step first. So it's one, two, like that, okay? When I do this, I'm gonna come in with a jab first. Jab, cross, Slip back, cross, then we'll fire a hook. After that hook, back leg, point kick, and step down. Okay? So from here, I move forward, jab, cross, lean back, throw another cross, throw a hook, and then from there, boom, throw a point kick and go in. All right? So that's the whole motion. We're just doing that one right now. Let's have some fun. So get ready. Hands are up, jab. Cross, slip back, cross, hook, get ready, boom, point kicking down. Good, keep going. Jab, cross, slip, cross, hook, point kick, and down. Good, bring it back. Jab, cross, slip, cross, hook, point kick, and down. Good, keep going, keep going. Jab, cross, slip, cross, 
hook, point, bounce. Go ahead if you want to change angles. Jab, cross, slip, cross, hook, point kick, and down. Go ahead, keep going. Jab, cross, slip, cross, hook, point kick, and down. Good job, guys. Keep it up. Jab, cross, slip, cross, hook, point kick, and down. Go almost there. Jab, cross, slip, cross, hook, point kick. Woo! All right, that was a lot of stuff. So we're gonna add all of it together now. Okay, so left to the left, to the right, moving forward. We're gonna do it completely random, all right? Completely random. So be on your guard. Remember, invisible ninjas everywhere. Take them out, okay? So get ready. Hands are up. Let's do this. And we're gonna start by stepping to the right. If you remember, Cross, body drop, upper. Go to the left, hook, cross, upper. Let's move forward. Jab, cross, slip, cross, hook, point kick, and down. Good, keep going, keep going. Jab, or we're gonna move forward this time. Jab, cross, slip, cross, hook, boom, point kick, and down. Awesome, keep it up from here, we're going to the right. Jab, cross, or sorry, jab, or sorry, cross, whoa. Cross, body, drop, upper, to the left. Hook, cross, upper, to the left. Hook, cross, upper, to the right. Cross, body, drop, upper, move forward. Jab, cross, slip, cross, hook, point kick. Keep going, keep going. Do the best you can, guys, to the right. Cross, body drop, upper, good. Kind of complicated. Do the best you can. So now we're gonna finish off where what happens if you if someone's moving in on you, okay? Well, if someone's moving in, maybe you need to move back. So I want you to think about this. If I had to step forward, if I move forward, if my front leg moves first and then my back leg, then if I have to move back, my back leg moves first and then my front leg. Okay, so when I move back, it's boom, boom, and like that. Now, when I'm doing this, I want to try and keep the person at a distance. So as I move back, I'm going to fire two jabs. So I'm going to go jab, jab, okay? As I do two jabs, I then throw a cross. From there, my back leg is going to come up, push kick. As I step down, I'm either going to fire a side kick, boom, or if you know how, a turning back side kick. So once more, you throw the push kick, you can either throw the side kick with your back leg or you turn into the turning back side, okay? So the whole thing, let's do it together. We're gonna move backwards. As we move back, jab, jab, cross, push kick, step, either side kick or turning back side kick, okay? So let's do it again. We're in our position, we move back, Jab, jab, cross, push, step, side kick. Okay, let's have some fun. And remember, if you if that turn next side kick is too hard, afterwards, boom, just go into pop your normal side from there with your other back leg. Okay, let's do it, guys. Have some fun. Hands are up. Remember, ninjas are attacking you right now. Get ready. Show me your stance. Hands are up. Let's get going. So move back. Jab, jab. Cross, push kick, step, kick, side kick or turning back. Good. Jab, jab, cross, push, down, side kick or turning back. You choose. It's up to you. All right. So, Gary, jab, jab, cross, push, kick. Good. Keep it up. Don't move back. Jab, jab, cross, push, side. Good. Keep it up, guys. Good job. From here, jab, jab, cross, push, side, or turning back side. Good. Jab, jab, cross, push, or kick. Good. Keep it up. Keep it up. Jab, jab, cross, push, kick. Keep it up. Jab, jab, cross, push, kick. Awesome. All right. Whew.
We have one more minute. Now this is where it's gonna get complicated because now, well, more so than Ori's, because now we have to do all four directions, okay? I have a good sweat on, I hope you are too. So let's get this going. I'm gonna call out the directions. We're gonna go slow first. Hopefully by the end, we'll be able to go a little bit faster, okay? So hands up, get ready. Show me your stance. Things are getting real. All right, so that's attack. We're gonna start off, move in, jab, cross, slip, cross, hook from there, point kick. Immediately from there, move to the right. Cross, body, uppercut. Move to the left, hook, cross, uppercut. Move back, one, one, there's your jab, jab, cross, push, kick. Side kick or two next side, you choose. From here, jab, move back again. Jab, jab, cross, push, kick. Good, keep it up, let's move forward. Jab, cross, slip, Cross, hook, point kick, and down. Let's move to the right. Cro or cross, hook, uppercut. Or sorry, I messed it up. Cross, body, drop, uppercut. Good. Let's move to the left. Hook, cross, uppercut. Let's move to the right again. Cross, hook, or cross, body shot, uppercut. Move forward. Jab, cross, slip, cross, hook. Point kick. Go, let's move back. Jab, jab, cross, push, and then oh, throw a kick. Good job, guys. Woo! That was the whole kit and caboodle. Now, just remember if you kind of get a little mixed up and you want to remember this a little bit more for your own training, we are posting this video up on YouTube. So that means you can go back, you can focus on the combinations and practice on your own time and go from there. Guys, thank you so much. That was fun. I hope you had fun too. Uh, let's get going. Let's go into our mukta. So, from here, and shop, chere, kai, ki, mukto, jumbi, mukto, shisha. Mato Baro and shot. Chere. Kan. Ki. Everyone, namaste. Thank you. So, everybody, I want to finish off today by talking about. So, what we did today was I mean, you know, it's martial arts, it's going to be combative, but we did stuff that was pretty combative where we're punching, we're kicking, we are being, you know, pretty aggressive in some regards. And there's nothing wrong with that to a certain degree. I think having a little bit of aggression and at least feeling that and understanding that, hey, in a self-defense situation, I need to know, you know, it's it's good to know that, hey, sometimes you gotta know when to put up a good fight, right? And then everything. And yet at the same time, in terms of self-defense, one of the best things that you can do is actually not to fight. Instead of using your kung fu, you whip out your tongue fu. Okay, in other words, the art of talking. You can, it's easy, well, it's not easy, but um, it's possible to de-escalate a situation before it becomes, you know, people bring out their fists and start punching and stuff like that. And honestly, some of it is just maybe if someone's calling you a name, and let's say they do, okay? If I call you a name, it's not the end of the world. If I call, if I call someone, if someone calls uh, someone else an idiot, it doesn't it necessarily mean that they turn into an idiot. Right. It's like if 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 someone's if someone calls me a big, you know, a purple elephant, I don't you know, I don't grow a trunk and turn purple and get really big. Right. It's not like that at all. So just because someone says an insult to you doesn't necessarily mean it's true. And more often than not, if you get offended or if you get upset, it actually means that there might be a part of you that is a little bit insecure about it. There's a part of you that might, you know, someone called. Let's say someone calls me an idiot and I'm worried. OK. And I get upset means that there might be a little bit of part of me that's, that feels like I am an idiot. And that's a self-confidence thing. That thing could be, work, that could be switched by just going, you know, it doesn't matter how, like, if you're smart or not, you're still an important person out there. And it doesn't mean that you're an idiot, okay? And if you really believe that you're not an idiot, that means if someone calls you something like that, 
let them because it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't do anything for you, right? And so the art of Tung Fu is sometimes learning that it's okay to walk away when someone insults you. Or it's okay, if, someone's, if someone says something, you just go, yeah, you're right, I am an idiot. I'm the biggest idiot there is, thank you so much. Because now people don't have anything on you after that. You're showing that it's not bothering you, okay? Um, so in the end, people, if, if you can get away, if you can get out of a confrontation without fighting, without getting hurt at all, that's the big, most important thing, and that's by using your voice rather than your fists. All right. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. Namaste. I'll send you back to Instructor Eric. I hope you had fun today.